So we also had more DST film reaction. It was the Durban Derby. It was the KZ10 Derby. And what a wow. Amazulu winning that 1-1-0 one, one against Golden Arrows. Unbelievable, man. This sends Amazulu to the top of the league. It sends them to the top of the league, man. And I think one thing I saw within this game, because I did put on my DSTV Now app to sort of watch it. Uh, but one thing this game proved with Amazulu is that defensively, they are sound as well, eh? Defensively, they can defend as well because within the first half, you sort of could feel that I never felt Golden Arrows were going to score within the first half. And I think Amazulu did really well in terms of defending their, their countering abilities, their ability to transition as well. And also what a nice thing that I saw that Amazulu adopted as well was having to shoot on sight. So usually when you find Golden Arrows sitting back a little bit, being defensively sound, they would shoot whenever sight was created. Whenever they could see something, they would actually go for a shot. And that's what happened with one of the goals great play from from Amazula and Mamela finds the goal um, shooting it from range finds the goal to make it one nil up and then from then on second half I think Amazulu adopted this approach to say okay Golden Arrows let's see if you can break us down because they sat back for a little bit and played a little bit on the counter and for some reason no matter what Golden Arrows threw I mean there were times that you would sort of think is Golden Arrows going to break the breakthrough there was almost an own goal from Amazulu as well when it hit the post but there was a time even when uh, Stevia was running and he he was way before the halfway line point and he was flagged for offside. I didn't simply understand that, but a majority of the game, Golden Arrows just found it hard to break through Amazulu and as well as to score the crucial goal. But now this sends Amazulu top, and now this puts more spice in tomorrow's game with Orlando Pirates and Mamelodi Sundowns. Sundowns have to win tomorrow's game in order to go back to the top, and Orlando Pirates also have to win in order to keep the pressure going in terms of having to finish within the top three. So it's going to be very interesting, and I mean you can't you can't give any more credit to what Ben McCarthy and his technical team is doing. I think this team is resilient. The most important thing for Amazulu is just mind your own business with all the games that are coming. Mind your own business. Don't look sideways. Don't even pick up a newspaper. Don't read the headlines. Nothing. Mind your own business.